So welcome back to another Natural Glam Bodybuilding Workout Vlog. Natural. N-G-B-W-V. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, yeah, so come up with your own sort of abbreviation and put it down below and I'll use it. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just want to talk to you tonight a little bit about a few things. One thing is, uh, go to my website if, if you haven't been there so far. Uh, there on my website, I share some of my other hobbies, such as photography, or uh, sometimes I'll make music and put music on there as well. So you can just take a look at that and uh, listen to it and see if you like it or not. Give me some comments and stuff and what you like about it and what you don't like. Maybe uh, some changes and things. And at the same time, I'm going to uh, be doing some physique photography from time to time. So I'd like to put that up there. And at the same time, I'll show you some examples of some music that I've mixed for other people for their competitions and things. So I'm, I'm putting that kind of stuff together. So anyway, my website's like a hub. It's going to be like a multimedia center for people that are in the fitness industry industry or people that want to use some sort of service whether it's video music or maybe they just want to get a t-shirt or something um, but at the same time I'm also going to put information on there I'm going to write articles from time to time of uh, reviews of supplements that I like supplements I don't like uh, you know different types of workout material kind of like the last uh, video I made on what type of equipment you should use for a home gym you know so I plan on putting some stuff in article form on there as well as the videos right so the videos are kind of like uh, additional to other information that I'll be putting on there so yeah check it out from time to time and then let me know what you like and then and, uh, what you'd like to see on there. Now the other thing I want to talk to you about is about perfectionism when it comes down to your fitness program, to your fitness results, or to your workouts. So this can apply in many different ways. A lot of times people go into the gym and they have this perfectionist idea of what they want to look like and anything that does not match that uh, causes them severe emotional pain. And I've talked a lot about that. You know, it's, it's really important for you to learn to enjoy the process of working out instead of just having an ideal in your head. When you have this ideal in your head and you just have misery until you reach that ideal, chances are 90% of your working out in your lifetime you're going to absolutely hate. I also want to show you to apply this to your individual workouts because not every day is going to be a PR day. Not every day is going to be a, a day where you have a lot of energy or you feel great or feel like you're you know, making some sort of progress of some sort. And the, the day that I'm showing you is just like this. You know, right now I'm feeling like crap when I walked in the gym. I just felt a little bit tight, overtrained. I didn't feel strong. It felt like the groove was off with everything. And I just pushed myself through the workout and I don't let myself emotionally suffer from this. You know, so I've seen some guys in the gym or some girls, they have a horrible workout. They're energetically drained and they have this huge expectation of the ideal that they're supposed to hit. They're supposed to hit a certain PR, or supposed to get a certain amount of reps. Otherwise, you know, it's the end of the world. I don't let that bother me. You know, sure, I physically sometimes suffer because, you know, you're in a lot of pain sometimes when you don't have any energy or when you're really tight or, or maybe you're sore from a few workouts. And sometimes this is just a sign of overtraining. Sometimes you just need to take a day off. What I do is I still enjoy the process no matter what. If I'm tight, if I'm sore, if I'm weak, if I'm strong, you know, if I'm getting a pump or if I'm not getting a pump, I just find out what I can enjoy about the workout and just, you know, do that. You know, and I've talked about this with gratitude towards being able to train. You know, some of you have only been training for a few years. If you've only been training for a few months or maybe you haven't trained at all and you don't know what it's like to feel the pleasure and the bliss of having power and strength and, and everything working properly and then having it ripped away from you from an injury or maybe you can't train because of some unforeseen circumstance and the truth is is that it's enjoyable no matter what whether you're making progress or whether you're not you're still there you're still in relationship with the weights and you're still getting the blood flowing and that's what I do I just enjoy it anyway even when my squats feel tight and feel horrible I still was enjoying the process so I really want to kind of of help you shatter that type of thinking that says there's a perfect ideal every workout has to be perfect I mean there's so much motivational speaking out there that's going on that says every day has to be better than the last one but maybe every day is perfect just the way it is maybe every workout is perfect the way it is maybe everything is perfect you don't need to mess around with it you just need to be in relationship with it and the irony is is that when you're in relationship with anything it just evolves on its own you know so if you learn to enjoy the process 99% uh, of the time I found that you just get results because you enjoy what you're doing and you continue to do it. And no matter what type of weather comes your way, whether it's the weather of soreness, whether it's the weather of no pump, whether it's the weather of being weak one day or tired, you still continue to just ride out the storm. And by doing so, you get a tremendous amount of results. I mean, there are a lot of people I've seen just quit training because they didn't get to where they want it right away because they were just looking too far into the future instead of looking at what is happening right before them, you know? So today I'm feeling tired. I feel a little burned out. I think I'm a little bit overtrained or maybe underfed, maybe underslept. I don't know what it was today, but the fact is, is that I felt like, hey, I need a day off. So I just found what I could enjoy in this workout. I just said, I'm gonna do chest, back and legs. I'll just do three workouts. I'm not gonna work on PRs at all. I'm just gonna to try to work on just getting some blood flow going, get a little bit of a stretch and just enjoy myself.
So I moved from squats and then to bench press with dumbbells, just doing lightweight, you know, just doing 100 pound dumbbells. And then I went to a back machine because I had already worked lower back with squats. And I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do something just to get a pump in my back, okay? So I just wanna bring up one issue. Uh, one guy commented the other day and talked about how when I train back, he noticed that I don't bend and straighten the arms a lot. It seems like my arms aren't really moving a lot. And one thing is, yeah, my arms are a little short. They're not, uh, you know, long arms or whatever. By any means, I'm at five foot eight, you know, so I have uh, a different type of frame than some of you guys out there. Uh, but the main thing is that back has to do more with sticking the chest out and pulling the shoulder blades back and then bringing them forward. If you notice when I'm rowing right now, that's the main amount of work is really pulling those shoulder blades back and sticking the chest out and then bringing them forward, okay? So that's where most of the movement is taking place. If you want to get a big back, that's what you wanna concentrate on. You don't wanna concentrate on straightening and bending the elbows. If anything, they just bend enough in order for the back to do its job, but they're not bending and straightening to primarily move the weight, okay? so. That's a big misconception and that's why a lot of guys walk around with a very underdeveloped back, but wicked developed arms. So as you can see on this movement, I'm actually even exaggerating what it is that I do just to keep the tension on the back. If you notice, even when I'm resting at the top, I'm not straightening those arms and I'm not overextending or stretching more than I need to in order to bring the shoulders forward. I don't need to lean forward. I don't need to straighten the elbows. I just need to bring the shoulders forward so it automatically stretches out those traps and the lats. So yeah, try this technique out and see if you're feeling your lats and your back more and see if you get a better pump. Just try it out and just see. And I'm interested in hearing what your results are. And thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgallantbodybuilding.com.